bro, let me tell, let me ask you a simple question. What does Nigeria actually want? It's a question. What does Nigeria actually uh, want? Uh, uh, Nigeria uh, want restructuring. Mm. Do, do Nigeria want regionalism? If you talk about regionalism, what type of regionalism? If you talk about restructuring, what type of restructuring? All these things are the things we need to put on table, and people look at it very critically. The North should not be a uh, fear, should not be afraid. The North has the resources to take care of the North. That's the truth. This over dependent. Don't let the North, don't let the North show in uh, uh, the, the conquest threat against the South. Well, it's, it's going to be rejected. Let them not stop kicking against anything they feel that is not against their own interests. They have been ruling this country for the how for how for a very long time now. They have benefited so much from the resources coming from the south. Why is it that they are always against the interests of Nigeria and pretending to be for Nigeria? Why well, this is democracy? This is not military rule. They have enjoyed enough. The resources of the, all those resources that are that are domiciled in the north. What are they doing with it? Who are they keeping it for? Everybody has focused on oil, 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 oil. And look at the level of devastation that has got to take place in those areas. How are we going to explain that? Nigeria has several on several occasions be given an option, be given option of unity. And why are they kicking against it? The constitution we are presenting today was uh, smuggled to us by uh, foreigners. Nigerians have not come out to sit down and say, these are the rules and regulations of how we want to be governed. How do we handle that? How do we explain that? At every slightest thing, they shut it down. I, see, I can see the reason why, you know, I did not manipulate uh, uh, Tulubu and gave him somebody like uh, Shetima, so most of these policies can thoroughly be opposed. We saw what happened to him, uh, 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 Buhari, how he introduced so many flanization agenda that was rejected entirely by the South and the Middle Belt. If not today, maybe all of us will be running away from our respective communities or there or thereabouts. What is the big deal about restructuring? Why is the North afraid of restructuring? Why are they bent on destroying the resources of the Southern Nigeria? Even though the Southern Nigeria have given so much to the North. In terms of human resources, in terms of resources, in, in terms of uh, uh, commercialization, in terms of human capital, everything the North has taken from the South. And the South have never taken anything from the North. Now we are saying, let us have these things, you know, let us have these things uh, 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 like this, let us go this way, let us have this direction and all that. You know, let us go this way, at least, and uh, let us sit down and know how we are going to do this, uh, to avoid this, let us do this. Are you saying no? Now, look at the response coming from uh, the Senate over the issue of open grazing B. We had the senior president, Goswin Akobye, came out publicly and condemned. As he made it very clear that cows are not Nigerian citizens. Cows are not Nigerian citizens. They can be right. Cows can be right. Why are they bent on making sure that the cow roam the streets, roam, destroy farmland, destroy people's means of livelihood, don't do a lot of damage? Why would they be accepting that kind of, you know, uh, uh, agenda in the 21st century? Are we not a nation of interest? Are we not a nation that wants to move forward? Are we not a nation that wants to lead? Why is it Nigeria decided not to work for the country? Why has the country decided to work, to work against Nigeria themselves? Why is the leadership of this country so full with, you know, irresponsibility? Why is it there's no government in Nigeria?
What is, is it a crime? Is it a more than Nigeria must stay together? Why is it that anything that will make Nigeria to work, the Lord is always kicking against it? I think the senior president, the president himself, talking about Bola Medicine, so to an extent, resist this continual decided threat against the unity of this country by the Northerners, especially the Northern senators, Northern politicians. Why can't we have restructuring in Nigeria? Why can't we restructure? Why are they kicking against it? Why are they still uh, 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 of the opinion that they, 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 they are cow have every right to run the streets and destroy people's farm land and this stuff? And anybody who will stop, stop, uh, stop, stop them will pay with their blood. Is it what is happening in other countries? Is it what is happening in other states? Yes. You understand? Is it that? No? That is not that's not what I'm saying. So, so what, what I'm saying is this is that it's important that we begin to understand these things very clearly and the government to be able to begin to see and certain things uh, come to a particular direction where we begin to understand the way forward at the end of the day. And what I'm saying is this I, I think to a certain point, uh, the southern senators uh, to brace up, uh, you know, uh, um, show a kind of um, uh, 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 resilience, you know, in making sure that it's either they are set and structuring as an option of unity. No, you see, it may be how people understand it. Everybody has his own view and everybody has his own understanding to interpret whatever anybody said. Um, to my own understanding, Gelfan Defense Force are not going for, for retaliation or going to attack Nigerian Army. Although Nigerian Army are the vendors. They are the aggressors. But to, to my own understanding, therefore, therefore, defense force are going to defend the land and defend the people, not to attack. Mm. They will do, they will do and secure the place so that more kidnapping, more missing of people, or killing of people not take place again. And if there's any way. They will look for that 300 people that are missing to get them, whether they are dead body or whether they are alive, whether they are alive, they will do it. That is why they are called defense force, not attacking force. So they will deploy in Abia to defend the entire land of Abia states. That's my own understanding. Mm. But in the process of defending, if you come to my house, pursue me, come to my area, pursue me, I run, I enter my house, and you pursue me to enter my house. I have nothing to, to do with you than to engage you. But in that engagement, one may survive, one may lose. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what will happen there. If they have found defense force, what to they defend the people? They will never fold their hand, arms mm. so that people will not call them bad name mm. and allow the aggressors mm. to continue attacking, kidnapping people and killing them. They will say, ah, it's enough, enough is enough. Why? Stop it. They will say so. They will say so. Mm. And uh, someone neighbor saying that they will, will, they will soon see their fan defense force yes he will say so yes he can send them because they are under his command and he know why he created them he created them to go and defend and this sort of type of things happen and they are not defense they are not defending which means someone like creating them is a waste and someone like i don't know what he's doing again 
This is why you have to send them. And remember, since the incident, that ugly incident in Abba, in Abia State, so many indigenous or people residing in Abba have been missing. This is part of the Gorilla War that Nigerian chief, Nigerian Am, chief of army staff or defense headquarters have said they will engage their France in guerrilla warfare. This is the type of guerrilla warfare they are engaging now. Not the entering bush to engage their defense force. But they will go now. They are guerrilla warfare. Now guerrilla warfare. Kidnapping guerrilla warfare. Silent people guerrilla warfare. Who are the people? Innocent souls. Innocent civilians don't know anything. Who do not participate? Whatever that happened in Abba. On target of this last man. This type of guerrilla warfare. They said they will fight. So do not be surprised. It's not a surprising to them to someone or whoever. Both Nigeria and Biafra. It's not a surprising. You have because it seems that Nigerian army or armed forces are talking to do. They will talk, they will do. And remember that Nigerian army have said that they will retaliate in a brutal way for killing their men. This is part of it. So it's not a surprise.